Welcome back newbies. This is the Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. My job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. This is going to be the second video where we cover and finish up how to install your package of bees, how to make sure that the queen has been released and accepted by the hive. So stick around. All right, now, we still have our package bees with the lid loosely sitting on top here. What I'm gonna do is give them another tap down, remove this, the bees will start coming out, that's okay. They will all return back to this because they smell their queen coming from this box. Do this part gently. The bees are gonna roll, and it's kind of weird. Um, if you've never done something like this before, just shake them out gently onto those top bars back and forth because this hole right in the center is kind of awkward and you may have to tap the box. And when you do, just make sure that you're not going to squish any bees. All right, I'm going to swap this around, start emptying from this side. Another tap, more shaking, and just try to get the majority of the bees out. When you're done, set this box upright underneath the hive or nearby. It's somewhere in the shade, and the bees that are remaining in here will slowly work their way out through the top and find where they should be. All right, so you see all that fanning that's going on? You can hear it too. And what they're doing is fanning what's called a Nazanov pheromone. That's not important to remember, but it is important that that's the type of pheromone that they fan when they're saying to everyone, here is home. Here where our queen is come this way and that's how the rest of the bees are going to find home so at this point we're going to carefully fill in these other frames and making sure to space them just right and any of the syrup feed that they are still have in their bellies from the trip from being in in the package and the syrup that they got from that can they'll use to start putting into this comb. Now, I have an advantage. As a beekeeper, I've already got drawn out comb. These bees are gonna start working much faster than if I had bare frames, but don't worry. Most beginners start with bare frames and the bees will work that surprisingly fast. Within a few days, if you keep feeding them, they will have drawn comb on those. The queen will have started laying eggs. So don't freak out. The bees are amazing when it comes to stuff like this. But because it is a package and they come with virtually zero resources, you need to make sure that you keep feeding them during this time. And like I said, for about two weeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut them up, go get a jar of feed ready and put on them. So check this out. Since I put the hive cover on, the bees have moved down to the entrance. And right here is an example of them fanning that Nazanov, um, pheromone, whatever it's called, odor, aroma, to tell everyone else where home is. That's a good thing. It'll help the, the bees from the package box that I sat underneath to come out and find home. And you see all the bees flying through the air? They're disoriented. They don't know where home is yet, and that's why those bees are fanning. And so within the next hour or two, they will slowly settle down as in this box as their home. Everyone will be fine. Tomorrow morning they'll wake up, they'll orient themselves, and all will be well. And right away, the bees are already starting to eat that candy out so that they can free the queen. And that's it. I'm about to put uh, my feeder jars on top, and I'm set. I wanna come back in like two days to check them and uh, see how things are going with the feed because I wanna make sure to keep that on them. And that is how you install a package of bees. 
All right, so today is day three since we introduced and installed our package of bees into this new equipment. Today is the day to check and make sure that the queen has been released from the queen cage. And remember, that's from the, the bees eating out that uh, candy end of the queen cage. So if she has not been released today, we need to make sure that we release her while we're here. And the reason we need to make sure that she, she's released by day three is she needs to start working. She needs to start laying eggs so that this colony has more bees within three weeks because as soon as a queen lays an egg, it takes 21 days for that little egg to develop and emerge as a fully adult bee. And at this point in the season, which is still early to mid spring, that's going to happen right about the middle of our, our honey flow in this area. So they won't get reinforcements until our honey flow is nearly halfway over. So here's how we're going to start. We're going to smoke them, let them know we're coming in. Just a little bit of smoke, not a lot. Um, their feeder jar is empty. That's good. If I had bare equipment in this hive, I would give them another feeder jar. But since I've already got comb in here, uh, the bees have already begun to forage. They don't need another jar of feed, especially with our honey flow being less than two weeks away. But it wouldn't hurt to put more on. Just trying to give you guys an idea of the different thoughts that go through my mind as I judge things. So I'm going to smoke these bees on top a little bit. Remember I have a hole in the top of my lid so I can feed the bees. I'm going to pop this hive cover just enough to get some smoke in there. Then I'm going to gently raise it. And if the queen has been released, I want to see if she's on the inner on the uh, underside of the cover she's not so I'm going to prop this here and they're very calm mostly in the center and I'm going to bring you closer that you so that you can watch this all right so as you can see our tag end is still stapled in place from where the queen cage is hanging I'm going to remove this outer frame to give myself some space to work slide this over there's still no bees on these frames this frame i'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this staple i'm going to hold on to my tag so the queen cage does not fall down below and in a minute i'm going to point something out but i want you to keep in mind this gap that i've got this larger gap most likely the bees have built extra comb in there that i'm going to have to clean out all right so slide this frame over the next one, and they have actually secured her fast to the frame with comb. So I've got to pull that gently until she or the queen cage is loose. Okay, pulling her up. It's got worker bees all over it. I'm going to shake, look in the cage, and there are four worker bees. If I check the end with the candy, I find that it's completely emptied of the candy. There's no, no more candy in the end of this cage. They've eaten all of it out in here as well. So the queen has been released. So it's time to remove the queen cage. Now before we go any further, let's pretend like the queen was not released. What would we do? Well, we would go to this end of the queen cage and remove this other cork. Then we would set the queen cage right there on the top bars and wait patiently until we see the queen come out of that end and then go down in between two frames. Then we would take the cage, set it aside, remove it, and then put the hive back together. But there's one thing I've got to do before I do that, and that's because the bees have built extra comb. And I need to remove this so I can put the frames back together the way they are. See that flap of comb? Now, I got to be careful doing this because the queen could be in this uh, or on this part. So, whoa. And you know what? There she is right there. She, so it's a good thing I was being careful. Let's see. Yep. You can see her longer abdomen there. So we know our queen is well. She's doing good. She's alive. I'm going to shake the bees off of this Burr comb is what I call it. This extra little thing of comb that they made. Set it aside. 
And you know what would be a good idea for you guys is to keep a jar of this extra comb. Eventually, you can melt it down and use it for things around the house. But since I've already got this here and I've seen the queen, I'm going to see if she's laying eggs in the area that she's been crawling. And I don't see any yet, and that's okay. She'll start laying soon. So I'm going to put this frame back, pull this next frame out because they built some extra burr comb on it as well just like the other one. In fact, on this one they've got two pieces of it. And this is why it's important to keep your frames tight together so they don't build this kind of stuff because this makes hive inspections difficult and challenging. I'm using the smoke to get them away from the part of the comb that I need to scrape with my hive tool. Okay, I got it. Shaking the bees off of that. Collect that, set it aside. And these frames have a little bit of weight to them. The sugar syrup I fed them has already been stored and they have actually used that as fuel to build that comb I just removed. So we've got a queen. She's released. She's checking out the hive. We cleaned up that extra comb. She will start laying within a few days. At this point, you want to kind of leave your bees alone for the next two weeks. Other than feeding them, leave them alone so that they can be undisturbed, minimal disturbance, and start doing what they need to do. So that's it. This has been successful, and I hope that it goes the same way for you. As always, thank you for watching. My newbies, my apprentices, don't forget to drop me one of these. Check the description and the links below for the tools and equipment and gear that I use. And don't forget to subscribe.